What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, you know what, we're gonna sp I'm gonna be spamming a lot of these videos because I want to make sure that we could get to Lead Code Medium before the end of the summer. So, you'll probably see 15 videos uploaded today, just try to get past all, all the easies, you know, okay? So today we're gonna do search in a binary search tree. So what is search in a binary search tree? Given the root of a binary search tree BST and a value, you need to find the node in that BST that the node's value equal to the given value. If the subtree rooted with that node, oh yeah, return the subtree rooted with that node. If such a node doesn't exist, you should return null. This is actually pretty basic. Uh, remember how binary search trees work? Everything on the left side is less than the current node and everything on the right side is greater than the current node. So here we have four. Everything on the left side is less than, 2 is less than, to, uh, the, all the values on the left side, you see 1, 2, 3, is less than the current node, which is 4, and everything on the right side, this 7, is greater than the node, current node at 4. As you can see here, in 1, 2, and 3, for the node 2, everything on the left side, 1, is less than the value 2, and everything on the right side, which is 3, is greater than the value of 2. So now, please... Try this problem yourself and then come back to me when you figure it out. Okay, so now I'm going to go over this problem with you guys. So first, we got to check if the root is null. Because if the root is null... Oh no, if the root... Okay, think about this. If the root, we got to check if the root is not null. Reason why is because if the root is not null, then we, could, then we could search. Otherwise, we can't really search, right? Because if the root is null, then, I mean... Yeah, you can't you can't really search anything. So if the root's not null, then we're gonna check if the root's value if the root's value is equal to the value we're searching. And if it is, then we're gonna return true. Okay, not true. We're gonna return a root. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta check if the root's value uh Actually, now we got to check if it's less than. Then we return. Then we're gonna go to the left side and check that. And if it's greater than, we go to the right side and check it. So here we're gonna do that. So let's check else if roots value is uh, less than value. Then we're gonna return search BST. We are going to go to it. We are going to go to the left. We're going to recursively search the left side of the tree. And if it's greater, if the so if the root here is greater than the value we're searching, we're going to search to the right side of the tree. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, after this, we could return null. Because that means that... Essentially, that means is that... Uh, well, then there's nothing there. So let's, let's run the code. I think this is it. I could be wrong, though. I haven't done this in a while. Like, I, fit, I did this problem way back. Okay, so... Whoops. Okay, what did I do wrong? Let's see. So this actually outputted nothing and it expected two one three. Okay, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What did I do before? Let me see. I got it accepted before though. Quick, quick look. Oh, okay. It's actually value. My bad. So, okay, my bad, I switched it. Okay, so it's actually, you don't actually wanna check the roots value is less than value. You, I swapped these by accident. So you actually wanna check if, so if the value, so if, well, the value that we're searching for Let's say here we're searching for two, right? So let's say we're searching for two, okay? 
if the value of 2, which is 2, is less than the roots value, 4, then we have to search on the left side, okay? So I mix, me, mixed it up. See, it, like, look, in this example, if we're searching for the value 2, the, our value that we're searching for is 2, right? And our current root, the current node that we're on is 4. Since 2 is less than 4, then we should search on the left side, so that we should go to the left side. Okay, and then here they'll find two and return it. Uh, so I accidentally messed this up. So I'll explain it again, just in case if you guys don't understand it. Okay, so let me run it. Okay, so now it's right, okay. Let's submit it. Okay, so now I got accepted. So essentially is, let's say I, I wanna search a value five, or let's say not five. Let's say in this example, I wanna search the value seven. If the value we're searching, seven, is greater than the current value that we're on, four, we gotta check the right side. Okay, it's not it's not the root that we're that is greater than. It's the value that we're searching for. So if I'm searching for seven, and I realize seven is greater than the root I'm on, which is four. Seven is greater than four. I gotta check on the right side of four. So this part, this the right part, and then I'll find that seven is equal to seven, and I'll return this seven. So that's why it's actually value that is less than the roots value, then search on the left side. If the value is greater than the roots value, we search on the right side. Okay, so, this, so these, these are the codes, this is the code that helps you search it, okay. That's essentially how to do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later for the next video. Peace.